Hello, welcome down the rabbit hole. If you're here right now, you have a, a specific specific request. Um, I'm going to show you how to expose text line by line for a Reddit YouTube video. All right, let's just jump right into it. First off, you have to have, of course, your text and you have to have your audio down here. Um, now, follow my pointer. We're going to come up to DaVinci Resolve and we're going to go to step one. We're going to click left on keyboard customization. Then we're going to come over here to the search window and we're going to search for next marker. After we put in the next marker, it says down here, go to next marker. So in this little box right here, we're going to type alt and N at the same time on your keyboard. Okay. So that's going to be our hot key to go to the next marker. Next, we're going to delete th that search and we're going to search for previous marker. And if you notice, it says go to previous marker down here. We're going to come over to this little red box right on the same uh, row as pre previous marker and click Alt P at the same time. Alt P. Okay. And we're going to save that and we'll close out this window. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the text box is highlighted. And so you're going to come anywhere with inside of this text um, clip is what they call it. Left click and highlight it. You want to see that that red border around it. Now, what I want to do is I want to expose this text according to my audio line by line. Some people do it sentence by sentence. I'm going to do it line by line because I really, quite frankly, don't know how to do it sentence by sentence in DaVinci 17. Just don't know how to do it. Um, I mean, th there's actually a way you can do it by, um, if you go into Fusion maybe, or if you create, bring another black box over and just black out the lines, but that is a, that's a headache. It's something that I'm, I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. All right, um, so we're gonna highlight the text. And I want to, every time I'm going to hit my, my audio marks, right? Every time I hear he, or when I hear he, it's the get dad few. Anytime I hit the end of the sentence, I'm going to create a marker. And to create a marker in DaVinci Resolve 17, you just click M on your um, keyboard as the, uh, as the clip is playing, as all the clips are playing. So that's what I'm going to do. So right now I want to make sure that my text is highlighted because I want to put my marker inside of this clip. Now, if I highlight this one, it's going to drop the markers in this clip and you'll, you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. And if I hit it down here, it's going to drop the markers in this clip. And if none of these are selected, it's going to put my markers up here in the timeline. So for this particular uh, video, what I want to do is I want to, I want to drop it in these clips. So I'm going to click L on my keyboard is play and K on my keyboard is stop. So I'm going to click L right now. And I'm going to click M every time it reaches the end of a sentence. And you'll see it's going to start dropping markers in the clip. So my friend's dad is a marine biologist and works with octopuses a lot. There was one octopus he told us about that was straight out of Finding Dory. When it got hungry it would climb out of its tank and go to this nearby container full of live crabs. He then would unscrew the top of the container and steal himself an ice crab dinner. The best part is, that the sly bastard wouldn't just get back into his tank, but he would screw the cap back onto the crab container. My friend's dad only found out, after checking the security footage, while trying to figure out how he was a few crabs short. Okay, so, as you've noticed, you see these little blue markers here, are marked at the end of every sentence. Alright, so the next step is what we want to do is we want to cut up this clip into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips um, to correspond to every sentence which we're now going to expose in sync with the audio. Now, this is also very important. What we're going to do is come over here where you see this little white cursor thingy and you have to do this in order for your hotkeys to work with markers. Um, this is not essential for other functions, but with this particular function, you must first left click on the white little cursor thingy. And now we're going to hit Alt P for previous marker. Oh, 
And before I get started on this, um, whenever you use your blade tool and you cut a particular clip, uh, everything to the left of your cut is going to stay selected, but everything to the right of your cut is not going to be selected, which means to go faster. If I were to start at the beginning, it's only going to keep here um, what's to the left of the clip selected, and then I'm going to have to reselect it every time. But if I start at the end, I can just keep rolling because it's always, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So first I'm going to hit Alt P at the same time, and it jumps over to the next marker. Now I'm going to hit Control B, which is using my blade tool to cut it. Now, now that we've cut it, we've created two separate markers here. So from now on, we're going to have to hit Control P twice to go to the previous marker. So we're going to hit Alt P and then Alt P, then Blade Tool, which is Control B, Alt P two times, then Control B, which is the Blade Tool, then Alt P P, then Control B, then Alt P P, then Control B, then Alt P P, then Control B. All right. Now, We've cut up this one clip here into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips, as there are seven reveals that we want to make on this text. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move our scrubber anywhere in the vicinity of the first clip, which we want to crop. Next, we're going to come over here underneath this, uh, this window here. Um, left click on the little V. And you want to come down to your, in the drop down menu to crop, left click on crop. Now we want to reveal it line by line. So you come over here to this little white button down here, this little white dot, left click and drag. When it turns green, it's active, right? And we're just going to expose that one line. Next thing that we're going to do, and this, the, the order of how you do it is very, very important because it, it's going to make your life easier. You're going to left click on the timeline and move your scrubber over to the next clip. And by doing so, if you notice, this first clip is, is still selected, which means that it's going to show you the box that's selected, right? And if you have a whole bunch of text, you're going to forget which line is next and it's going to become a headache. But if you put your scrubber over here first, while your previous clip is selected, you get to see what's next. So the next one, I'm going to bring it up to Finding Dory. So now I select it, bring it up to Finding Dory, right? I'm going to place my scrubber over the next one. The next one's going to be Live Crabs. Then I'm going to place my scrubber over the next one. The next one's going to be Dinner. Now I'm going to actually select the clip, and bring it up to Dinner. And I'm going to keep doing that until I reach the end of the video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the beginning of the clip and you're going to see how it's going to reveal the, the lines um, in sync with the audio yet again. Um, I do not know how to do it sentence by sentence with DaVinci Resolve 17. So if anybody out there has any ideas how to do that um, easily, um, please leave a comment um, in, the, uh, in the comments below. All right, so let's go ahead and see the finished product of what we have created. So my friend's dad is a marine biologist and works with octopuses a lot. There was one octopus he told us about that was straight out of Finding Dory. When it got hungry it would climb out of its tank, and go to this nearby container full of live crabs. He then would unscrew the top of the container and steal himself an ice crab dinner. The best part is, that the sly bastard wouldn't just get back into his tank, but he would screw the cap back onto the crab container. My friend's dad only found out, after checking the security footage, while trying to figure out how he was a few crabs short. Alright, so that's how to reveal, um paragraphs or blocks of text one line at a time in sync with the audio using DaVinci Resolve 17. Um, see you next time.